some old corn ball war story. Ring the bell. Burn. You're faking the funk. Talking that extra hard junk. You're probably a punk. Yo, this dude, Errol Spence Jr., man, he's, you know, he's he's a character, man. And he's he got kind of, he, to me, man, it's like he got snake vibes in him, bro, you know. I thought he was more stand-up than that. You know, when he made the fight with Bud, everybody was giving him his props. Like, yo, Errol Spence was the one that made the fight happen. And, you know, da, 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 da. Well, it takes two to make a fight happen, motherfucker. Yeah, Errol banded a little bit, but... It takes two to make a fight, not just one. He wasn't in that ring sparring him in his shadow, was he? So, it takes two to make a fight, man. And the way he moving now, trying to like, he's, he's, they trying to put him back in the limelight now, you know what I mean? So, they, they're going to start really hammering. Uh, you're going to see a lot of tweets coming out of Errol Spence. More than likely, they're gonna, they starting to throw him back out there now because they shine his star fizzled out because of Terrence Crawford so now they got to figure a way to try to uh push push uh Terrence Crawford to the side to give Errol Spence some glory that's what they doing it ain't gonna work man real boxing has no what's up we know what we saw July 29th we saw an absolute destruction ass whooping and that's never gonna change get over it move on but my thing is this man Errol Spence out here faking the funk bro I told everybody I said this before the rematch, before, like, I said this after he fought Bud, like, right after he fought Bud. I gotta find that video. I'm gonna make a short out of that shit. I told y'all, he really didn't want that smoke. He didn't want no more of that ass whoop. He don't want to beat down like that again. He gotta save face for his fans. And and it, it's, it was gonna be but so long before he could keep up that charade. Because they're going to eventually be like, damn, this, he said he want to smoke with Arrow or uh, with Bud. He said he want to run back. He told his son in the dressing room, in the locker room, yo, we got to run that back, gang. We got to run that back. And, and we look where we at right now. He's the one that executed the rematch clause, right? He won the fight. I mean, he lost the fight. Whoever the loser was had the right to execute the, the rematch clause. And rightfully, that's what he did. Bud on camera saying, look, he exercised the rematch. Um, I'm here to honor it. That's what it is. All this time goes by. You don't get no press, no no promotion for the rematch, no nothing, which was kind of odd too, right? After he hit a rematch clause, he, he executed the shit. You don't see no posters. You don't see no nothing, right? It was crazy. No talks of it from his, from his side, nothing. And then... Out of nowhere, here comes a cataract for his eye. And then the skew shoots out by the cataract is the reason why he lost to Terrence Crawford. And I'm like, oh my gosh, here we go with this bullshit. And then all this time, they trying to like, almost almost like they trying to um, have Bud tied up on purpose. And that was the reason why he wanted to execute that rematch clause. It wasn't even the fight Bud, bro. It was the fuck Bud up trying to disrupt his shit. It was just met to disrupt Terrence Crawford and to dissuade him from going after Jamel Charlo and going after whoever else got them belts at, at 154. That's what I think they were trying to do, bro. And then the rematch, you know, yeah, he's supposed to honor the rematch, but there's a certain time that they have to fight and that should expire, right? So now Tim Zhu is a champ, had the WBO belt. Um, Errol quiet as a mouse, ain't say nothing. And I'm just like, yo, why didn't he call out? Why didn't Errol call out Tim Zoo when he first got the belt? Like, before the Fundora shit. Why he ain't call him out then, bro? You know why? Because Bud wasn't calling out Tim Zoo. The minute Bud started calling out Tim Zoo to fight and and pushing for it to be a mandatory fight, all of a sudden, here come Errol Spence. Oh, yeah, I'm going to Vegas, man. I'm going to check. Yeah, I want the winner of Zoo versus Fundora. And he know Daddy Heyman going to be like, yo, my son... He deserves the best. He gets first picks. So now he's going to throw his little, his, his darling in the mix now and, and, and try to, you know, uh, freeze out Terrence Crawford. That's some real bitch ass shit right there. So, and then that tells you right there, Arrow was faking it, bro. Instead of calling out Zoo, why you don't go back and get that smoke with, with Crawford, bro? Why you don't go get that Crawford smoke? Why you ain't say this? Why you ain't say, yo, I'll take the, let's say, if, let's say if Sebastian Fundora loses to Tim Zoo. And then 
Crawford decides, you know, he he put he petitioned to be the man though. So you got Zoo versus Crawford, right? They 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 about to mix it up. Why why everyone just raise his hand and say, "Yo, I want the Crawford Zoo winning," because he uh, he's scared of Bud, bro. He he know Bud give him nightmares and shit. That, that was that would have been the honorable thing to do. You know what I'm saying? That would have been real smoke right there. Since this dude told me he don't fight no um no tune ups. All right then, fight the dude that's that whooped your ass. Get some get back, and fight the dude that we know is better than Fundora and Tim Zoo. That's Terrence Crawford. Why you ain't wait until Crawford got the smoke with Zoo to call out the winner of that fight? Cause he a sucker, bro. Cause he was faking the funk the whole time, man. That dude is a he's a real character, man. And his fans gonna keep standing behind that that that, that punk shit, man. But it, it is what it is, man. But keep on grinding and elevating, my guy. You know what it is. They don't want no problems with the Bud, man. None of them want no smoke with him. They all running scared, bro. I swear, that's my thing. That's my talk. That's my opinion on that. You feel me? But let me know what y'all think, man. I think Errol Spence was faking the funk, bro. I think he's been faking it. I don't even think he really even wanted to fight Terrence Crawford, man. He just went in there. He knew that bag was big. I think he just pretty much went in there and did a motherfucking um, a Jamel Charlo. The way same thing Jamel did with um, with Canelo. He knew he ain't stand a chance in Hades against Canelo, but he went in there to get that bag. That's what Errol did. He knew he stood zero chance against Terrence Crawford. But he could not pass up that bag. He couldn't pass it up. And now a rematch to him, he don't want that beat down again, bro. Because if he if he did, he would have stayed quiet. Waited for waited for Zoo. Potentially Zoo beats Fandora. Terrence Crawford enters the fight with Zoo. Then Arrow would have came out and started talking. Right? But he didn't do that. Because he's a sucker, man. Anyway, let me know what you think. It's your boy Rapper Light Boxing. Catch y'all later on the next one.